Yo, we are at Universal Studios Hollywood. Let's go on this adventure. Perfect. Don't move. Stay very calm. Stay very still. Wave at your big sister who sent you up here alone. And understand that we have no guarantees here at the Raptor Encounter. But there's a strong possibility Blue's probably going to charge one of you. Total way. It's totally possible. I can tell by the way she's looking at you that she wants to. The question we ask as scientists is, will she? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa. And now we know the answer. Yes, she, she definitely. Did you, you want a real picture? Oh, we're doing a video. We would love to explore that video documentation as soon as you get your photo. So your big sister wants you to do this again putting you uh, in the path of a raptor. It's always fun. Red text, can we hold the line for a second? So do you see the way Blue is pacing back and forth? Because you've stayed so long, she thinks that you are like a food offering. So I would run right now, for sure. Because no, okay, no, 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 no. Now is a good time to give Blue some space. You see how aggressive she's getting? So Tomas, you're still enjoying that peanut butter and jelly crustable, aren't you? Do you think Blue is going to want to eat the peanut butter and jelly, or you? You're right, she's going to want to eat you. Because she's a carnivore, and you're a delicious, you know, snack-sized human for her. So do me a favor, Tomas, stay very calm. Let's see if I can calm Blue down. Hey, girl. No, easy. Hey, focus. Easy. Okay, that's right. You know me. Good girl. Bad. Good blue. Okay. Folks over here, are you okay? We didn't lose anybody, did we? Raise your hand. Just a little baby. Little guy. And bite. But she knows that if she bites you, that will mean that you're probably going to want to bite her. That's the way it worked in the wild. What's that? So probably not, we've trained her, she knows that she's not supposed to get too close to people's faces because it does scare them. Yeah. But she won't bite, she is very inquisitive though. Good girl. Her name is Sierra, actually. Yeah. Even though they were one of the largest land animals ever discovered, much about them remained a mystery until now. Today, Jurassic World invites you to walk on the wild side and meet one of the park's very own gentle giants. Introducing Juliet, our Triceratops. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's interested in any of this food, so I'll stop away right over here by this big sign. Give you guys a closer look. What do you say? Target? Good. Good girl. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic World. This is our two-year-old dinosaur, Juliet. Everybody say hi, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. Look at that. She likes her name. I like my name, too. My name is Andy. Everybody say hi, Andy. Hi. You guys are so easily trained. I've been uh, on the island for quite some time, about nine years. I deal mainly with the herbivores. Those are the plant eaters because the carnivores terrify me. Anybody else here scared of a T-Rex? About five of us, yeah. The rest of you guys are scared of raising your hands in public. That's totally cool. This is not a T-Rex. What kind of dinosaur is this? A T-Rexeratops. That is exactly right. She is not going to bite you. You guys can get a little closer. It's okay. Right about there is probably perfect. Now, we do want to create a minimum safe distance around her, and there's a pretty good reason for that. Um, actually, there are three good reasons for that. Anybody know what those could be? Safety. Horns. Horns. That was yours too. You both got it right. Horn one, horn two, and horn three on the top of her head. That is why she is one of the most instantly recognizable animals we have here on this island. In fact, her name, Triceratops, literally means three horn face. Tri meaning three, Sarah meaning horn, and tops meaning head or face. This is what makes her the Triceratops, and this is how she protects herself against large carnivores, such as the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus, or large groups of human beings. Um, she is not an aggressive animal, as you can see. She's very peaceful. She's what we call a gentle giant. 
so there's nothing to be worried about. You have an animal handler and vet techs out here at all times. She is a little bit more active than she normally is, so let's keep that going. I want everybody to take one of their feet and slap it on the ground just like that. Look at that. You see the difference in her behavior? All of a sudden, she is literally... See what just happened? Bridget is a copycat. Yeah, she copied you. There actually is a term for that here on the island, and we call it mirroring. Very important for these animals to develop that skill. And it's not just a form of survival, it really is a form of play. Try it again. She likes that mirroring. It'll help her stay away from poisonous plants. It'll help her stay away from where the carnivores congregate. Simply by watching the other animals in her herd, they can survive much easier. Try both feet, right? Like we're walking in place. Oh, I like that. You jump. It's going to be very hard to get her to jump. There's a pretty good reason for that. How much does she weigh? Good segue. Right now, she weighs about 2,000 pounds. And most of that weight is in the front of her body, right here, in her head. One of the largest heads. Yeah, I know. You like that. That's also because this is part of her head. This is what we call a frill. It acts as a shield. But what else do you think it might be used for? You don't know. What's a good guess? A what? Sip block? Oh, sunblock. That's a great guess. Look what you came up with. Sunblock, she protects her neck, right? What else? Spare horns, like like a, a trunk in a car. She's got spare horns back there. No, I'm just kidding. No, these. So these are not actually horns. These are what we call. Ready for it? Epoxipitals. Um, yeah, remember that because you'll need it. Um, Epoxipitals. They're basically just uh, spikes on the top of her head. And the frill and the epoxipitals actually act as facial features. So I can tell each of you guys apart based on your hair. Well, that's the exact same thing as the Triceratops, okay? Yeah, it's part of her hair, right? That she doesn't have long flowing locks like all of us. She's very curious about you guys. She's been a good sport, you guys have been a good sport. Here's how we say thank you to the Triceratops. We put our hands up like horns, and we bow to her. <laughs> she responds in kind. And there's a reason for that. They use those horns for defense. So when their horns go to the ground, they're essentially letting you know everything's okay. That's very important to us here on the island, right? We're an animal sanctuary, a research facility. And these animals, they get nervous, especially around large groups of people. So we're trying to socialize them around large groups of people. Most of the time, these animals are in herds. You guys know what a herd animal is? Yeah, you heard? An animal that travels in a big group. That's exactly right. Right now, you guys are your own herd. She's got a herd of about 13 Triceratops back here in the paddock. They are all under the age of four. Yeah, and she likes them. She gets along with them. But for some reason, she likes to be out here around people, uh, which is very interesting for a Triceratops. Oh, you know what? She's being very vocal. Let's see if she'll take a vocal command. You guys with me? Let's see if she'll take a cue. So what we're going to do is we're going to establish a visual cue and a verbal cue at the same time and see if she takes the command. The visual cue is this. We're going to open up our hand, okay, all on the count of three. And when we do that, all at the same time, I want you to guys to use a uh, verbal cue. And the verbal cue is to talk or speak, okay? Ready? One, two, three! Good girl! Old. Here's the best part. At the age of six, she will be three car lengths long and weigh almost 12,000 pounds. And that's what all of your faces look like right now. That's what her face looks like right now. Did it look like she was just laughing? <laughs> yeah. She's like, you just wait and see me when I get bigger. I'm going to be the biggest Triceratops in this park. When they all are together, they form a 
massive circle. That's how they protect themselves. They got their horns up in the air and they circle up so that any carnivore in the area sees these horns, sees these spikes and goes, eh, ah, no, no thanks. I'm going to take on a Parasaurolophus. <laughs> you guys want to see what that looks like? Maybe we'll get her to do it. Anybody got a good dino scream? Yes. You're like, I think I do. Let's try it. On the count of three, I want you to give me your... You have to put your bag down for this. That's good. <laughs> You're like, I am, I've been ready for this my entire life. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three! Yeah. She literally copied you. Whoa, whoa, be careful, be careful. When we come at her from the front, she could get nervous. Scary? I appreciate that you ran toward what scared you. That is not typical behavior. <laughs> I assure you that we have vet techs and handlers looking out for you guys at all times. But if they were to have scared her, they'd get something like this. If everybody puts out their hands like this and sort of waves them side to side, you can sort of see the amount that she's able to whip those horns back and forth. Yeah? See, she'll start copying your behavior. If that were to be fast and furious, that's when the dinosaurs leave the area. Because T-Rex, they don't always win in a fight against Triceratops. 50% of the time, the T-Rex loses. Yeah. T-Rex and Triceratops are rivals. Not all the dinosaurs that you see here on the island lived at the same time. The T-Rex and Triceratops actually did. They all live together now here on the island. But they were mortal enemies for a very long time. Are you telling her to come toward you? Start by getting her walking. You want to walk in place, just like that. And once she gets in that motion, it is possible that she'll come toward you. It takes a lot of muscle to be able to move. And mostly because what I was saying, she's got a lot of weight in the front of her body. In fact, she's got so much weight on the front of her body. How much weight does she have? She's got her front feet underneath her head. She's got her rear feet on the back of her. She's got more toes on her front feet than she does on her back feet. She, she likes you. Here, here, come here, come here. I want you to try something. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. Actually, you're... You don't have to look at that stain on the ground. <laughs> no, you can look at the dinosaur. Be careful, be careful. Now, she's not going to fight you, but she could get nervous. Yeah, she could protect herself. And obviously, we filed down those horns a little bit because we know she's going to be around people. But these are how she protects herself. And if you were to come up too fast, and she were to get nervous because she's just as young as you are, she doesn't realize how big she is. And you, I am guessing, don't realize how small you are. You're a big personality. I want you to do this. Go like this. Now, this is not just a way of calming the animals down. It's also a way to get her move her head up and down. She's able to move her head almost 360 degrees. She is trying to vocalize with you. I'm trying to figure out exactly what she wants to say. We're not there yet. We're still trying to figure that out. What I do know is she's cooing a lot, and that means she's in a good mood, and that's good. Yeah. So do Triceratops and T-Rex still clash today? That's a good question. The carnivores and the herbivores don't tend to get a lot of face time here on the island, simply because the carnivores are trying to eat the herbivores. Carnivores live in Predator's Cove, herbivores live in Herbivore Valley. The T-Rex paddock is behind us. You can see it from almost every angle on the entire island. It's got to be big enough to keep her in. You can take pictures. Just do me a favor. I know you guys like to turn your back on the things that you're taking pictures of. If she starts moving, I want you guys to be able to get out of the way as quickly as possible, okay? So you should probably stand right where you are right now take a picture right there, just in case. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending your day with Juliet, our Triceratops. It is with great pride that we can give our guests a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience the beauty and wonder of such a majestic animal only here at Jurassic World. Okay, that'll do it. Universal Studios Hollywood, this trip, uh, survived Jurassic World. Uh, might have had an accident or two on that ride. Uh, but if anybody asked, it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, I'll see you on the next one. If you guys can do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, hit the share button. Greatly appreciate it. And the subscribe button. And if you want to feel free to share the link to anybody that's into this content, uh, that enjoys this stuff, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love. Peace.